What you doing? I'm uh, rearming this uh, hydrostatic uh, life preserver that Alicia took swimming. <laughs> <laughs> this time on Selling Tashi. <laughs> We'll tell you how this life vest exploded and give you a peek into what we do when we're not out on an adventure. Hydrostatic personal flotation device is designed to inflate when it hits the water. It uses the CO2 cartridge shown here for inflation. These are perfect for sailing because they are lightweight, easy to maneuver in, and come with a clip to strap yourself to a jack line. The problem came about when I decided to wear this one while doing my favorite thing, paddleboarding. Occasionally, I will go out alone. This time, I hurriedly grabbed the hydrostatic life vest, mistakenly believing that the pull tab meant it would not deploy in the water. Boy, was I wrong. I had completed my solo journey and rounded the corner to find Hal waiting for me. At this point, I thought I would get fancy and glide over to the dock and step off. But it didn't quite work out for me. I took my step, lost my balance, and in I went. The life jacket deployed, and the rest, as they say, is history. There you can see the green, to see it's armed. It's a little bit floppy, but once we stick it in the uh, closet, it should go right back. All right. That's yours. You went swimming with it. <laughs> it's yours. At least I know it works. <laughs> well. The incident did not scare me away from my favorite pastime, and I enjoy sharing it with my family and friends. Yeah, you do. Yeah, she'll probably divorce me, but you can do it. <laughs> hey, look, she's really moving now. <laughs> There's nothing like it to bring me closer to creation. Though these days, I'm a little less arrogant in my paddleboarding. Another fun pastime is fishing. The California Delta is home to many types of fish. And in the marina, the fishing is easy. So this is a great place to teach kids. Really? Get it, honey. You got it! Look! Yay! Here, our granddaughter Emery catches her very first fish. She's just not too sure about touching it. It's all catch and release here. I'm having a great day fishing. You are? Yeah. Did you catch your first fish? Mm-hmm. And did you touch it? Uh, no, I didn't want to. You our daughter Lisa gets the prize for the biggest fish of the day. Okay, how do I do it? Just put your finger in there, don't let him drop on there. Oh, he yeah, is slippery. Yes, he is. Uh, it's yep, all right, hold yep. him. Hold him in the back. Hold him back, too. The back part. 
All right. Okay. Smiley. <laughs> Good job. Oh, Yay. Yay. Bye. Biggest fish of the day. <laughs> this was fun, but it's not all fun and games at the marina. Sometimes we have to work. Your haircut. <laughs> Disclaimer: I am not a trained professional. I'm just what you might call frugal. I learned how to use clippers when the kids were little because all those haircuts every month was getting pricey. Now that we're living the boat life, this skill will come in handy. And I always remember to clean up after myself, making sure to get all the cracks and crevices where hairs might hide. Otherwise, all that hair's just gonna end up in the boat, ugh. With Hal looking sharp, it's time to head inland to the apartment. So we are headed back to the apartment for a day or so to spend some time with our boys and we got some packages coming. Oh no. Oh no. Bridge is up. Bridge is up. The McCulmney River Swing Bridge is one of the largest bridges in the Delta Road system and one of the many gateways between rivers. This bridge swings open on demand to allow vessels back and forth passage, but it sure does stop traffic. So while we're sitting here in traffic, we can talk about the um, one package that's coming that we are pretty excited about. What you <laughs> oh my god. She's always sticking the camera in my face. So <laughs> the Hadama silliness is definitely a family trait, as evidenced here. Technically, this apartment is our home base. Parental invasion! This is where we get all of our mail and packages. There's always someone home and it makes it easy for delivery. It's been a while since we've been here and the packages are starting to pile up. And our boys have the same wicked sense of humor their father has and have pranked us by stacking them to the ceiling. Looks like the bachelor men have been cooking but they forgot to clean. Ugh. It appears they have also inherited my love of tiny packaged condiments. I can't complain because they always keep us supplied in fresh hot coffee and they reserve my favorite mug for me. We also have the luxury of a lovely bed which faces a massive TV. Are we getting breakfast in bed? You sure are. I <laughs> love this B&B. Thanks. Thanks. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. And we get a delicious hot meal served to us in bed. Apartment life ain't so bad. What do you think of this bed and breakfast? Back breakfast in bed? Can't beat this and it's a super good egg sandwich. I know. Thanks, Joe. Uh, today, you're our favorite son. <laughs> <laughs> this morning, Joe made us egg sandwiches. Now you're working on spaghetti, but um, you know, it better be good to get that uh, favorite son <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> badge of honor. I'm the reigning king. The reigning king right now. We joke about favorite child status, but I'm really glad I taught my kids to cook. Mmm. That's really good. What do you think, Hal? Does, does he win most favored son? Or I mean, it's a tie. It's a tie. They, they did. Aside from all the packages, the best part about coming to the apartment is spending time with two of our kids. Our kids and our grandkids are the biggest blessings in our life. So I'll also pass on a blessing to these boys and clean the kitchen before I leave. And we also added a few important things to their grocery list. <laughs> Love you guys. And now, it's time for Alicia's Galley Grub. This recipe is dedicated to Denise. Hi, and welcome to my galley. As some of you may know, cooking in a galley is very different than cooking in a home kitchen. Everything. This was my chef's dream kitchen, back before we sold everything. I must really love sailing. Kitchen. Everything is on a smaller scale. So, people asked me, what do I like to cook? And 
most of the time I like to try easy recipes that are semi homemade and you can fit it into one pan because that's just easy. So today I thought I'd share with you one of my favorite easy one pan recipes, Cajun chicken pasta. The first step is to gather all of the equipment I'll need for this dish. And in a boat, that means taking out 10 things to get to the one thing that you need that's at the bottom. Got it. Now I gotta put everything back. The galley is equipped with a three burner propane stove, but I also have an induction cooktop. I love this induction cooktop for two reasons. Number one, it doesn't heat up the boat because there's no open flame. And number two, propane is really expensive these days and with our solar, electricity is basically free. Next come the ingredients. Some Roma tomatoes, red onion, heavy whipping cream, Creole or Cajun seasoning, olive oil, pasta and chicken. Note, I like to use separate cutting boards and knives for my raw meat and vegetables. You could just never be too careful with germs. Cut the chicken into cubes or slices. In a large saute pan, add some olive oil. I'm Italian and we don't measure, so just eyeball it. Turn the pan on to heat it up. While the pan is heating, place the chicken into a bag and add Cajun seasoning to taste. Then shake it. Oops. Seal the bag really tight, then shake it. Place the chicken that didn't fling out of the bag into the heated pan and cook it thoroughly. Rough chop your onions and toss them into the pan with the cooked chicken. Repeat with the tomatoes. Again, I'm Italian and I don't measure anything, so just eyeball how much you want. Once you start to see the juices from the tomatoes bubbling out, add your heavy whipping cream. Add a little, or add a lot. It's all up to you. Stir it all up and cook it for a little longer to allow all of the flavors to blend together. Next is a pasta time. What makes this a one pan dish for me is these ready-made pastas. They're already cooked. You can either put them in the microwave for the 60 seconds like it says to, or you can just open them right up and put them in the pan. Continue to simmer for about five to 10 minutes until it really starts to thicken. Then you add your final ingredient, the Parmesan. Stir it all up and allow the cheese to melt. Then give it a taste. There's just one more thing to do, and that is to pass Hungry Hal's Food Critique. All right. Looks awesome. Hot? It cooled off a little. Mmm. Hit it out of the park. Oh, <laughs> really? Oh, yeah. Not too spicy? Mmm. -mm. Really good. Really, really good. Mm. <laughs> Thank you, babe. When we are not feeding ourselves, we are feeding good friends. Curtis and Jennifer stopped by on their fishing boat for some food and fun. And then we got to take a ride to see some of the best fishing spots in the area. This little diving dog was a bonus on our trip. We had some good conversation and laughs on the way to a place called Frank's Tract, where many people like to fish. Hal and Curtis had worked together, so they were able to reminisce about the good times, the bad times, and everything in between. We can't bring Tashi back here because it's quite shallow and there's no channel. So this was a treat to see some new and interesting things out on the Delta. then 
And just like that, the day is over and we're saying goodbye. Hi, guys. Hi. But it's not long before we get new visitors. This time, people I used to work with. Donna brought her family, two of them all the way from Germany. We spent the heat of the day doing water sports, paddleboarding, and just putzing around on the river with a beverage. Then we moved on to food. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm grilling. Grilling, grilling with some burgers. burgers. Yeah. And a pretty intense game of Jenga. Bella worked really hard to make this one a success. Brother Brendan looks just as intense. Even Marco looks stressed in the background. They shouldn't have been so worried because I'm always the one that topples over. Then there's this ring toss game. Today, yeah! redemption is spelled D-O-N-N-A. And once again, we're hauling people off in the cart to say our goodbyes. Whether we're spending time with family or good friends, life in Northern California can be pretty comfortable. But we like the discomfort that comes with adventure, and we want more of this. So we will be heading out the Golden Gate again soon, possibly for the last time. But we've got a bit more work to do. Join us next time to learn more about what we are doing to prepare for our circumnavigation. Remember to like and subscribe. And also hit that bell. And remember notifications. When we wake, hear the birds and see Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right With you and I, the future is bright